Hi everyone, I'm Napita and I'm a developer advocate at Reality Labs who works on products and features for our developers who are helping us shape the future of VR. In this series of videos, we'll go over Quest multiplayer features by exploring the shared spaces sample made in Unity. This is the second episode of a four-part video series. In today's video, we'll go over the steps involved in building our own copy of the shared spaces sample in Unity. We'll discuss how to clone the repo from GitHub, set it up in Unity, and deploy it on our own headset. So without further ado, let's dive in. We'll go to the Shared Spaces sample repo, the link to which will be provided in the description box below. As mentioned in the readme, make sure that you have git lfs installed by running git lfs install. We will clone the repo by running git clone followed by the repo's link and we are all set. We'll divide the setup into three parts. First, the setup on the quest side, then setup on the photon side, and finally, the setup on the unity side. Let's start with the setup on the quest side first. The first step is to set up a new app on the Oculus website so that this new app can be associated with our copy of the Unity Shared Spaces sample. To set this up, we will visit the Oculus for Developers website. On the Oculus Developers dashboard, create a new organization for your project. Once the organization is set up, create a new application on the Developers dashboard under the organization you created by clicking on My Apps on the top right corner. When creating a new application, choose a name and choose the appropriate platform for distribution. In our case, we'll be building a Quest app for App Lab. Once the application is created, click on the API on the left to reveal details about the application. The detail we will use in Unity to set our application up is the app ID. We will need to recreate the Shared Spaces destinations in our own application. To set up the Shared Spaces destinations for our app, click on Platform Services and then click on Add Service under Destinations in the center window. To create your destinations, you'll need to add the settings that mention the API name and the deep link message for each destination as shown. This step is also shown under Destinations on the GitHub repo. Let's create our destinations and add this information to each of our destinations. We'll first set up the lobby destination, followed by the red room, the green room, the blue room, and finally the purple room. For the shared spaces sample, the deep link type must be set to enabled and the audience must be set to everyone. Now we have all our destinations set up. The next step is to set up the data use checkup for your app. Data use checkup certifies your compliance with Oculus developer policies and protects people's data. To do this, we will click on the data use checkup in the app dashboard. We'll need to request access to the platform data needed by shared spaces. Under data use checkup, we will add the following items and submit for certification user ID, user profile, deep linking, friends, and invites. Let's see how we can set those up really quickly. For each of these, choose the options that describe your usage. For example, for the purpose of this demo, I can add setting up user ID usage for data use checkup for testing Unity shared spaces. Let's click on submit. We'll do this for all the items mentioned before. Now we see that it asks us for a privacy policy URL. Provide your privacy policy URL here. I have one ready for my test, so I'll add a link to that. Now when I submit it, I can see that I have the data use checkup setup complete and the requested platform features will be indicated as approved. Our new app is now set up and ready to use in our project. To make sure that all necessary SDKs are available on our machine, we will also install the Oculus PC app. To do that, visit the Oculus website and click on the Download Quest 2 PC app as shown. While setting up the Oculus PC app, allow Oculus to be set as the default OpenXR runtime when asked. Now we are all set on the Quest side. Next, let's look at the setup on the Photon side. 
we will need to configure the net driver with our own photon Photon will allow us to set up the communication between the users who share a space. Photon's base plan is free and will be sufficient to create and run this demo. Let's look at how we can create a Photon account and set it up. To create an account on Photon, we first visit their website, photonengine.com. The link will be provided in the description box below and can also be found linked on the GitHub repo. Once here, let's click on Create a new app. We will set the type to Photon Real Time and click on Create. Once the application is created, click on App ID to reveal the complete App ID. We will need this information to set up Photon on our Unity project, which we will look at next. We have now completed our setup on the Quest side as well as Photon side. Now, let's take a look at the setup on the Unity side. Let's open Unity and see what settings we need to make to build our own copy of the Shared Spaces sample app. Let's open Unity Hub and find the project we cloned earlier and open it in our Unity editor. If your version of Unity is different from the one the project uses, it might throw a warning to update the version and the dependent packages. Accept it and it will open up the project. Now our project has opened. We need to make sure that we have the Oculus XR plugin installed to enable us to build applications for MetaQuest devices. To install the plugin, open the Package Manager under Window. Search for Oculus XR plugin and click on Install. Since I already have it installed, it shows that this package is installed. Our sample scene is called Startup. Click it under Assets to open the scene. When the scene tries to load, it might warn about a missing package called TMP, as shown. Import the package to proceed. We now need to connect the app we created on Quest to this sample project. To do that, we will add the app ID under Resources, Oculus Platform Settings. We also need to update the bundle name to a unique name. To do this, we'll go to the bundle identifier to change it to something unique. Also. Since we are building for Quest, we will set the platform to Quest under OVR Platform Tool Settings. Next, we will connect our newly created Photon app to this sample project. To do that, we will add the Photon app ID to the app ID real time, app ID chat and app ID voice. That's it. That's all the setup we need to connect our app to this sample project. Now that we have the project set up, Let's look at some of the build settings that we need to set to make sure that our build process is as smooth as possible. Since we are building for Quest, the first thing would be to update our platform to Android under build settings. Next, we will update the Android manifest file as shown under Oculus Tools Update Android Manifest.xml. Updating the Android manifest file will make sure that any missing properties are correctly included in the manifest file. To be able to upload a build to the store, we'll need to create and set a key store. To set this up, go to Build Settings, Player Settings, Publishing Settings, and Key Store Manager. Since I have a key store set up, I'll use the same key store, but you can create a new one from here as well if you don't already have one. Now, we're all set to build our own copy of the Shared Spaces sample. Let's click on Build and see if we can generate an APK file. The build has completed and our APK has successfully generated. Now that we have our APK ready, let's look at how we can deploy and run it on our headset. We will use Oculus Developer Hub or ODH to deploy and run our APK. ODH is our essential desktop companion tool that streamlines development on MetaQuest. The link to download ODH can be found in the description box below. So, let's dive into ODH and see how we can deploy our APK. Now that we have ODH installed, let's open it. Make sure that you sign in with the same Oculus Developer account that you signed in with on your Quest headset. We will go to the Device Manager tab to locate our headset. Make sure that your headset is powered on and is connected to your computer via USB-C. We will now create a release under the app distribution. To do this, let's click on our app 
choose the type of release. In our case, we will go with an alpha release and upload the build, that is the APK that we just built. Another thing to make sure of is to add yourself as well as any other user you intend to play with as a tester of this app. To set this up, we will visit the Oculus for Developer website and add them under App Manager, Distribution, Release Channels. All users listed here on the release channel will get access to the app. The app will now show up in their library and they can install it from there. Now we're all set. Let's go back to ODH and launch this app on our headset. To launch the app, let's go back to the app distribution and click on our alpha release. We see an option to install build on device. Let's click on that and we can see that it's installing the app on our headset. It's done installing. Now let's launch it on our headset and see how the app looks. To launch it, let's go to device manager and click on launch. The app has started and I'm in my lobby. Let's see if I can invite a friend to this experience. Enter the invite panel and invite a friend from this list. Let me invite Cami. An invitation has been sent and let's see if Cami can join us. Cami has joined us. Hi Cami, it's great to have you here with us. Like last time, let's start a private match in the blue room. We were able to enter the room and be together in this space. Now, let's go back to the lobby. Thanks for joining us, Cami. So here we are. We went over a detailed walkthrough of the steps involved to set up your own copy of the Unity Shared Spaces sample app, all the way from cloning the repo to building and running it on our headset. We hope this video was helpful to show you how you can make your own copy of the Shared Spaces sample app and how easy it is to set up. If you prefer to consume information in a written format, we have also published a blog that will go over all the things we discussed in this video in more detail. The supporting blog can be found on the Meta Open Source as well as on the Oculus Developer blog channels, both of which are linked in the description below. If you missed our previous video, you can find it linked in the description box below as well. To learn more about Platform SDK Multiplayer Features in Quest, check out the documentation about multiplayer features. You will also find the link to the Shared Spaces GitHub repo so that you can download, set up and run your own version of the Shared Spaces sample app. In our next video, we will learn how we can build a simple and fun multiplayer VR game on top of the Shared Spaces sample app that we just created. We'll go over the networking layer, the steps to customize our character and how to invite friends. So stay tuned and see you in the next video. Until next time.